I am so excited to introduce to you guys this phenomenal young man. When I tell you his bio is extensive, it reads like he is 60, 70 years old. He has accomplished so much, I promise you, in such a short period of time. So I'm not going to read his entire bio, but I do want to just give you a little snippet of his bio. Dr. Eddie Connor is a best-selling author, an international speaker, a college professor, and a radio and TV correspondent. He is a survivor of stage four, you guys, cancer. He, he empowers people to overcome obstacles. Dr. Connor is the cousin of one of the world's most inf influential entertainment entertainers, the late legendary Prince. Oh, your stock just really went up, Dr. Connor. <laughs> As an author of, of, of 12 best-selling books, Dr. Connor has been featured and hosted segments on, listen to this, ABC, BET, CBS, Fox News, NBC, PBS, The Steve Harvey Show, The Tom Joyner Show, The Word Network, and Mentoring Kings. And I have to add in there, he's also been one of the featured speakers at Greater Grace Temple's Pastors and Church Leaders Conference. And so without further ado, let's give Dr. Eddie Connors a big round of applause and thank you for being here on We Got Issues. We Got Issues. Oh my goodness, Dr. Connors, we are so excited to have you here on this special day, International Women's Day, and we are glad that you could be with us. We know that you have an extensive, extensive schedule, and so we're glad that you're here. We have one minute before we go to break. So in that one minute, just kind of tell the people a little bit more about who you are and how did you get involved in writing books about women? Dr. Connors? Absolutely. Yes. Well, Lady Crescent, Ms. Banks, Ms. Monday, what an honor, what an honor to be with you all. Uh, you all are straight up divas, divinely inspired, victorious, <laughs> accomplished sisters. Uh, Women's History Month, the emblematic of it, International Women's Day, we salute you uh, sincerely and celebrate you uh, because uh, you 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 wear your crown and you build your kingdom. And, and, and that's what it's all about. You know, I believe your test of testimony, your misery is ministry, your mess is a message, your stumbling block is a stepping stone. God uses your setback as a setup for your greatest comeback. He uses your tragedy as strategy to move your life to the next level. We were playing a movie, The Color Purple. I tell you, just like Sophia, all my life, I had to fight it. <laughs> and so yeah. Yeah. You, all my we life. all don't look like what we've been through. And so right. to be able to you find the can in cancer and overcome obstacles is why I do what I do. And so we'll touch on it after the break. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we're going to take our first break. We, You are listening to We Got Issues with the Force of Friendship. It is International Women's Day, and we are here with our guest, Dr. Eddie Connor. We're going to come back for a very enlightening conversation right after this break. We'll be right back.
mind is on me. All right, we are coming back. We are coming. We are coming back. I'm every woman. I'm sure we all can agree that uh, as women, we share a sisterhood that is unbreakable. And today I am so excited to have our guest, Dr. Eddie Connors, who is here with us. And we're going to talk to him about women. We're going to talk about queendom. And you guys, I'm so excited because today, today, his book is dropping today. Come on, um, I can give him a big hand for that. <laughs> yes, his book is dropping today. And we are so excited about that. So Dr. Connors, right before the bank break, you were um, going to tell us a little bit more about yourself and how you got into um, writing books and, and really empowering women to be the best that they can be. So tell us a little bit about your background. Yes, um, I, I'm a native Detroiter, son of the city on the east side. And um, to be able to go and live through dying places is what my life and my life's work is all about. Dr. George Frazier said, once you learn and earn, then you must return back to your community. And so to be able to find the can in cancer and to be healed, 2022 marks 22 years of me being cancer free, going through chemotherapy, radiation, wow. losing all my hair, my self-confidence, my self-esteem, my will to live. I'm grateful for the queen who birthed me, my mother, told me, he said, you got to take off the pity party hat. Psalm 118, 17 mm. says, you shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. And so uh, she told me to write my story. I had a dollar and a dream to my name in a dorm room. And she said, you got to share your story. And I didn't want to do it at all. Never had an intention to be a writer. She said, your story is not for you. It's to bless somebody else. Right. And as I was writing, I was healing. I was overcoming obstacles. I was forgiving my father who wasn't there in my life. I was mm. looking at the, the vulnerability and masculinity that oftentimes can't coexist in the same space. And uh, I just decided in 2017 to write the first iteration, which is Dear Queen. And I used to write love letters to girls in school and I'd slip it into locker anonymously. <laughs> and some years later, it dawned on me. I said, if I can write a, a letter of love to a girl, why can't I write a book of love to women? to yeah. love themselves, to know their worth, to celebrate them as, as the quote suggests, no nation can rise without his women. Dr. Miles Monroe suggested, whatever you give a woman, she multiplies. You give a woman groceries, she gonna give you a meal. You give her a house, she gonna give you a home. You give her some issues, she gonna solve those issues too. Okay. <laughs> so uh, uh, with, with the most neglected, unprotected and disrespected woman on the planet, as Malcolm X says, is the black woman. And I, I think we have to stand not just on the sidelines as men, we have to stand on the front lines with you. Uh, Isaiah 22 and uh, Isaiah 62 and 2022, if you think about it, you shall be a crown of glory uh, and beauty in the hand of the Lord. And so uh, you all are shining brightly and, and I'm on the second book right now, Dear Queen, volume two. It just drops today. And I, I gotta say this as well, as I'm looking at all you queens and all this uh, beautiful estrogen, uh, <laughs> queen means quintessentially unique, empowering everyone naturally. Real queens don't compete, they collaborate. They're not That's just right. chasing man, they focus on their purpose and plan. Real queens understand that their royalty demands loyalty. Top they're that top, 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 they're too, top, unique top, to top, top. they're too rare to compare. As a result, they wear their crown and they build their queendom in the kingdom of God. And you all have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. Literally, literally, this is what is so needed. It is so needed in our community. It is so needed with our young ladies. Right. It is so needed uh, even with our even with our young men, because I know that part of what you do is you talk to um, young men as well. Because you know what, somebody asked me a question uh, years ago, I would always, you know, at church, I would have different classes for young ladies, um, young ladies of distinction, and we would teach them etiquette and we would, you know, build their confidence in so many areas. And then somebody said to me, while you're building all of these young ladies up, somebody need to be building the men up so that they will be ready to receive these women when, you know, 
as they mature and and get ready um, for relationships and get married and whatnot. And so, so many times, you know, you can find a lot of um, organization or a lot of opportunities for young women to be built up and then it's lagging when it comes to our young men. So real briefly, talk a little bit about what you do there and how you um, incorporate the two. Yeah, such a great question and, and very profound because oftentimes we're preparing women for unprepared men. And uh, we've got to put the same tenacity that we put into our sisters, into our brothers. And so the, I've done that with mentorship. Uh, I've developed two particular mentoring programs, Boys to Books and Gifted for Greatness, which focuses on literacy, leadership, and life skills enrichment. Oftentimes in mentoring programs, we tell our brothers and teach them how to tie ties, shake somebody's hand and look them you know, square in the eyes. But what is it to do all the mentoring and they, they don't know how to read. They don't know how to lead. They don't know how to really deal with the emotional issues and trauma that a lot of times, even as Dr. Joy DeGroy talks about the, the DNA that we, the, the, the trauma that we hold in our DNA as black people. And so to show our right. brothers, listen, you don't always have to be Black Panther. You can be T'Challa. You don't always have to really <laughs> masquerade and try to be Superman when you're really Clark Kent. You don't always have to try to be uh, the Hulk good. when you're really David Banner to really touch into the, get into the, the, the depths of who you are in your heart and understand that that does not inflict on your masculinity at all. Vulnerability right. and maturity is necessary to be able to handle the queen in your life and to be able to treat her like the queen that she is because you understand that you're a king. And I define king as keenly intelligent, noble gentleman. And that's what mm. our culture has to do when we have to raise. Wow, mm -hmm. that is so powerful. I mean, I love your acronyms. I love that you're, you know, you're speaking to um, these young, um, young men about, you know, what they need to know, especially we know that, you know, literacy is so important in our mm -hmm. um, community. So I'm going to just throw it over to the girlfriends, whoever wants to jump in and ask, and ask a question. What was the acronym for Queen? Go ahead. Go ahead. What was ahead. the acronym for Queen, Dr. Yeah. Connor? What was your acronym? Yes, uh, quintessentially, quintessentially unique, empowering everyone naturally. Mm, good. Yeah. Excellent. Go ahead, Gloria. Okay. You know, I like everyone said, like, honestly, what a guest for us to have today as we celebrate women and the fact that you have it so down the way that we need to be celebrated on such a um, unique basis. I want to know when you're dealing with people who need to learn how to celebrate themselves, what do you see as their biggest obstacle? Because a lot of women walk around knowing that they're queen and a lot of women walk around not knowing they are a queen, even though they have the responsibility. What do you see when you're writing these books and you're writing bestsellers? People are obviously very interested in capturing that. But what do you see as their biggest obstacle from your vantage point? Yes, uh, uh, awesome question. And I think one thing that a lot of times we're uh, affected and afflicted by is imposter syndrome. You know, when we uh, are trying to perpetrate a certain type of image, but really internally, we're uh, afflicted and conflicted simply because we're mm -hmm. trying to compare our chapter one to somebody else's chapter 30. Uh, to wow. a certain degree, our mm -hmm. lives become an aspect of social media because all we do is put on filters. You know, right. the, 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 we what is what is what is uh, makeup is nothing without a made up mind. <laughs> a made up mind is more important than a made up face. And so beyond just what you have on the outside, it's about who you are that's on the inside. And mm. you really never know who you are until you know whose you are. If you don't know who you are, people will tell you what you're not. And so to be able to even write about it, how to wear your crown, walk in authority and authenticity is really getting to the aspect of asking yourself the question, who are you? What were you created to do? What is your why? Uh, where are you going? And then also who are the people that you want coming with you? Based upon mm -hmm. that, now you make different decisions that move you towards your destination. Wow, that's, that's powerful. Excellent. Yes, yes. Talk a little bit about your book that's being released today. Tell us about, uh, it's uh, volume two. 
So give us a background of volume one. I, I mean, I'm so interested in all that you have to say, but tell us about the book that's dropping today. Yes, uh, it's my 13th book is dropping a day and uh, available on Amazon, Audible, iTunes, uh, my website, DrEddieAcademy.com forward slash Dear Queen, ebook, audiobook, hard copy. Uh, you know, two is better than one, but you need one to understand two. <laughs> and in the first iteration. So get them both. <laughs> get them both. <laughs> Lady Corsette, you feel me. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, the first one, I, I really was wanting to uplift our sisters, especially leveraging ladders for leadership. You know, uh, the statistics suggest uh, the average woman earns 82 cents to every man's dollar. So you're mm. looking at the inequities in society as you talked about the political, socio, uh, cultural aspects that we really have to uh, think about and really uh, remediate in our society. So I want to talk about that, but also the, the essence, the ebb and flow of the the aspect and the, the beauty of what our women bring to society. Um, God never even gave Adam work before he gave him a woman. He gave the one the work came first before the woman came because a woman is the crescendo of creation. A woman was not created to be in chaos at all. She was created to be the okay. helpmate for the man. And so really uh, allowing women to recognize their identity and their authenticity and really find uh, liberty in just being who they are. Uh, I never thought I would write another iteration to Dear Queen. Uh, I only intended just to write it one time, but I felt it was not an end. I felt it was a, a, a conversation that needed continuation. And it just dawned on me to write uh, the second part of Dear Queen volume two. And I never really dealt with the crown <laughs> in, in, the, in the first one. And I really wanted to uh, uh, empower women to crown themselves wow. with love, crown themselves with joy and peace and promise and prosperity and potential. And this is what we have, how to wear your crown, walk in authority and unique authenticity. Wow, Beautiful. Dr. Connors, Beautiful. this is so good. This is so juicy. Oh my goodness. Listen, we're going to take a second break. When we come back, we want you to just, if you can read an excerpt from yes. the book, that would be so, so powerful. You are listening to We Got Issues on 910A, the Superstation. We're here with Dr. Eddie Connors. And when I tell you, he is just really an amazing young man that's talking about queens. We are queens on this International Women's Day. We'll be right back.
we're back we're back you are listening to we got issues with the force of friendship 9 10 a.m the superstation and we're so excited on this international women's day to have as our guest dr eddie connor and today you guys of all days his brand new book queen volume two drops today you can purchase it on amazon it's audio books i mean any kind of way you can read a book listen to a book it is available <laughs> but let me just say this you gotta get queen one in order to understand queen two so i'm sure you want to get both books okay but before the break he was going to read uh, a, a piece of what's in um queen um, volume two and then after you read that we're going to go to our caller so grace we want you to hold on we're going to listen to this excerpt and then we'll go to you grace dr connor absolutely um as i'm thinking about it houdini asked the question friends how many of us have them and you all can see today that this is a force of friendship that uh no bond can break um right. quintessential queen of quality is uh, uh so an excerpt that i want to read to you quintessential queen of quality it says within you is a divine destiny and clarity that brings unity to communities everything you birth is a blessing the tears you've sown have watered what you're harvesting no one is like you the essence of you is uncanny too we can't help but to stop and stare admiring you as you walk boldly in your authenticity and authority behold the queen wearing your crown shining bright and beautifully beyond millennia and passing centuries spanning the eons of time crossing rivers and seas there has never been a jewel like the one god placed in thee you illuminate so magnanimously all hail the queen how could i not be intoxicated with the exuberance of my intellectual verbosity on display is your divine femininity as the quintessential queen of quality and you do it so masterfully god has blessed you so abundantly no need to compete or compare your price exceeds a ruby that's rare you are one of one divinely effervescent authentic authentically resilient quintessentially unique empowering everyone naturally because of you any man despires because of you any man aspires higher as a king much love dear queen yes wow. oh, oh, yeah. much love yeah. be a queen be a queen when i tell you that was so powerful so powerful i'm just i just love the way it flowed i know sabrina is our our um writer so i could tell it was really really hitting her she's sitting there like more and more and more so i know she's absolutely loving it so let me ask you dr connor are you married no i'm not no you're not married okay so and i know this this is a little personal because we got issues and you know the girlfriends are leaning in i told i i i text the girlfriends i said he probably have gotten proposals from old women <laughs> and young women okay <laughs> i promise you because when you talk that talk you know women we lean in because we love men that understand that we are a queen and so let me just say when the time is right you're going to find somebody that's special and she is going to be so blessed to have you as her king oh my goodness that was so was beautiful sweet. well we have grace on hold grace are you there yes i am good evening ladies and good evening doc um king dr eddie connor oh my goodness very lyrically speaking it just goes off it just goes with and um very profound speaker um is there a movie somewhere in the making because you, you, i'm pretty sure you can pull pull that out with no problem the way that your word right. captures individuals and, and we lure you in and you just want more um the women that have not proposed to you um oh my goodness <laughs> Really? I mean, it's and, and, and you're on top of the world. Oh, okay. You are deserving of 20 lives with that, with that mouth. <laughs> um, I, 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 I get to listen, but I, I, just, I, just, I just want to say, wow, thank you. And every time you walk around, you can say, you should say, I'm lost. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's, just, that's all you can say. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, Grace, I'm oh, my goodness. goodness. 
Thank you for calling in. I promise you, when I tell you, this is all oh, the guests for today. I mean, were, were oh. those words not absolutely awesome? <laughs> Beyond that, I'm, I'm actually blushing. You told me. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. This is yeah. what you're around to say, you're welcome. You're welcome. That's all. That's all we need from you. Just put it on. You're welcome. Oh, oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need a book. We, well, not a book. We need a movie. You could do better than um, Waiting to Exhale. Um, you could listen. We need a, we need a movie. All right. Dr. Eddie, you hear that? Grace, Grace said you need a movie, so... I need to, we need to start working on it. We need to start working on it. Thank you so much. I'm very pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. Take care. Oh my goodness. That's so she funny. said she's <laughs> blushing. She's blushing. Those words were so, so powerful. Sabrina. Grace gave us some words question. seasoned with grace. I'm, I'm honored. <laughs> I'm humbled. I'm flattered. Well, I see. Yeah, I already amazing. know who I can cast as my members. I'm, I'm gonna have okay, you three ladies. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Sign us up. Okay. <laughs> exactly. We're we're presidents. We're mem We are That's officers right. of your fan club. Okay. Officers. That's right. Yes. 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 Before I mean, Dr. Duty. Connor, it's amazing. We always hear the um, saying, "Queen, straighten your crown," mm -hmm. but with you, it's put on your crown. We have to put them on, put the crown on first before we can straighten right. it. And so what we hear from you is that we're deserving. Uh, I think it's a, a wonderful reminder of who we are, why we are, uh, who God has called us to be. So thank you for the reminder. Where have you been all of our lives? Okay, all of our lives. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so just continue to do what you do. Um, in a big way, we're going to certainly spread the word and we want our tribe to certainly uh, uh, get your books. Uh, I think many women forget because life is so big and life right. can beat us down and you don't walk around feeling like a queen every day. Right. Uh, and right. so it's, it's the gentle reminders. If you have to read to yourself, if you don't have anybody speaking, we can certainly read those words. And what the force of friendship, what we want to be always to our tribe is to remind our tribe uh, how powerful uh, women, how, how essential we are to the world, what a difference right. we make to the world. Um, and so thank you for that reminder. I got to ask, you got the purple rain setting behind you. It looks like Prince, <laughs> okay? So I got to ask you about our boy Prince. How are you related? Uh, just tell us that story, please. Yeah, give us some tea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, Prince Rogers Nelson is my mother's first cousin. And so, wow. um, yeah, my, my grandmother and Prince's father, brother and sister. Wow. And so, yeah. So this is not a distant, uh, distant, distant relationship. Right, right. This, this, is, is, a, a this is a real family member. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and so everybody in our family. I think your stock just went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah everybody in our family is musical i don't do much of the singing but uh, i guess it comes out in the lyricism and the lyrics right. are the, the words that right. are you know hitting the right. paper but um you know to be a, to be around prince and you know uh, a lot of people saw him enigmatic and he saw him as an enigma but i mean he was just down to earth he come out of the house and they call it the purple mansion uh, out in Minneapolis, he'd come out, I mean, dressed to the nines, just in pajamas. I mean, uh, his 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 overcoat would be past his knees. And, you know, he wasn't any more than about five two, five three on a good day. Uh, but just uh, how laid back and cool he was beyond just the music. And, you know, he said, hey, I moved to Minneapolis to get away from all the issues that were going on in L.A. and all that stuff because the, the bad people don't want to come where it's cold. And so to, mm. to, to really just, you know, be around him and to hear all of the stories, I wound up uh, having to speak, uh, my mother and I, at uh, his funeral. Uh, as we, mm. you know, as, after they had cremated him, we spoke uh, in Minneapolis. And it was just very, very private with just some of the family and just some of his close friends. And they were telling stories about him uh, as a kid and loving basketball. 
and and the story that that Dave Chappelle shared about the pancakes and the basketball, it's a real story. It's the truth. <laughs> and and him playing in the blouse, it's the truth. So, um, you know, we miss him and he was more than just, you know, to the world, he's a celebrity, but to us, he's just family. Yeah. Right. Wow. Right. Right. What a gift. What a gift he was to all of us as you are as well. A family of greatness, a family of greatness, great contributions. Right. Thank you. Thank right. you. Right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, Gloria. I, I, yeah, I just, um, I love the flavor that you bring. I love the fact that you would write a book with such passion and dialogue. And, you know, when you talk about Prince and you talk about your family, and you talk about there's a celebrity and then there's the family. I'm always interested in people's perspective, especially when it comes to women, about how they mix up the strength and their softness. And your mother definitely gave that to you when you give that description of who she called you to be. So when mm. you describe with your incredible words, what is it that a queen masters when she's strong enough to be soft and she doesn't let her soft touch take away the thought that she's not strong because she has to be soft as well can you talk a little bit about that yeah that, that's a, a great question and perspective because you know we're living in a society now that has uh hardened uh the the, the lives of women so much to where they have they have to do so much and we salute our single parent mothers, this, that, and the other, but they've had to shelve their femininity, but I'm encouraging you to pick it up. Uh, your right. softness, your delicate, your delicate aspect. And then also to recognize that you have a foundation of faith and to move forward. Dr. Connors, I want you to hold that thought. I want yeah. you to complete it. We're going to go to another break. And when we come back, I want you to finish that um, thought. We have a guest, Latanya, stay on hold. We will come to you right after the break. You're listening to We Got Issues on 9, 10 a.m. The Superstation. We'll be right back. All right, we are coming back. We are coming back. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're in our last 10 minutes of the show. But when I tell you this show has been so powerful, especially on International Women's Day with our guest, Dr. Eddie Connor, I once again have to tell you that his brand new book, 
Queen Volume 2 has been released today, today. So we're going to encourage our radio listeners as well as those of you that are watching us live on the 910 AM Superstation Facebook page, as well as the Force of Friendship Facebook page. Go on Amazon and order a copy. You don't want to just order Queen Volume 2, especially if you don't have Queen Volume 1. And I'm going to encourage you to get a set for your girlfriend. We all know, we all had that girlfriend right. that needs to be reminded that she is a queen. And I guarantee you, you'll bring a smile to her face. You will encourage her because that's who we are as queens. We lift as we climb. We lift other people because that's who we were created to be. And so on this International Women's Day, we encourage you, go order the book, and buy one for a sister that you know absolutely needs it. Well, prior to the break, we want you to go ahead and finish your thought, Dr. Um, Connor, and then we're going to go to Latanya. Yes, uh, I was just saying the, the book is a clarion call not to lose your gentleness because of life's hardness. You know, a, right. a, a woman uh, who understands that she's a queen, she does more than wear a foundation. She knows her foundation. Uh, because she has faith, she has fruit, and she's also feminine. And and I believe, as you talk about, even with the show, uh, we got issues. God gives us healing tissues for our hurting issues. And and being able to understand your assignment, you know, we say she knew the assignment as you three snaps in the neck roll, hair flip, a high five, <laughs> all in Z formation. Beyond just understanding the assignment on the deeper level, what are you doing to complete the assignment? That's mm. what it really is all about. Wow, I love that. What are you doing to complete, complete the, the assignment. assignment? Wow, that that's something that you really have to meditate and think on because God has given all of us something to do. Um, we're going to go to our caller. Latanya, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Thank you, Latanya, for calling. We got issues. Do you have a comment or a question for Dr. Connor? I have a comment. I, you know what? I can't have a serious question right now because I'm just an I'm just receiving out of this. So, y'all feel bad if you don't have a serious question for you. Um, you're just receiving all this good information you have. But, you know, with you sitting up there, you are the epitome. You know that a single woman, mother, woman, can raise a black man. And I want to say your mind did a good job. You know, because I'm raising some black myself. And, I wanted to say, uh, if we had arranged weddings in our person, you know, I would definitely want to see you from my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for your book. Um, I do have three daughters, uh, and so I do want to get a book for myself and for them as well. I have one that's graduating from the college this year, too. So, um, how much are your book? And um, just thank you for everything. Tanya, thank you so much for calling in and thank you for your support. And um, I'm so glad you said that, you know, in, in the world that we live in now, there are so many women. Black women that are raising um, their, their sons by themselves. And this is just, you know, uh, the epitome of what a strong and um, gracious, blessed, blessed queen woman can do um, in raising a powerful young black man. So you want to talk a little bit about that and, and answer how much are the books and um, again, tell them how they can get your book. Absolutely. Um, I, to, especially to the single parent mothers. And I, I don't know if I was always the easiest son to raise. You know, a lot of times us as uh, boys, we we have attitudes because we're stand, our, our mothers are standing in proxy for absentee fathers. And I think even in the aspect of fathers that are not there, I'm grateful that mentors and father figures stepped into my life. And, and when they could, my mother exposed me to them um, on TV and beyond just entertainers, rappers and athletes, uh, pastors and leaders and community right. innovators right. Uh, are, are individuals who we should be celebrating in our society. And so I'll just say to you, listen, don't give up on your children. I'm the product of a mother who didn't give up on me, you know, mm. through the cancer, through me not even wanting to live. Her love caused me to live through dying places when I wanted to give up. And so, um, you know, my, my books are a gift to be able to pay it forward. Uh, it's, they're $19.99 and they're available on Amazon, uh, Audible, uh, 
Barnes and Noble iTunes, as well as my website if you want a, a, a signed copy, DrEddieAcademy.com forward slash Dear Queen. And we will absolutely post uh, his information on our Force of Friendship um, Facebook page on our website as well, so that you'll be able to find it um, there as well. But we absolutely want to encourage you to support Dr. Eddie Connor in his new book. And again, he's written 13 books. So you know what? When you, when you pull up his name, it's going to be a minute, okay? Because you're going to have to go through all the other books that he has written. And so that is so... Um, so powerful. Uh, any last questions before we get ready to come to a close? This has been so, so awesome. And you know what? Matter of fact, um, Dr. Connor, we're going to give you the last few minutes that we have um, before we come to a close. So what's on your heart that you want to share as we get ready to close out? Whew. Boy, uh, I mean, when you think about sisters of sagacity, soul and spirit who permeate society, uh, we would be totally derelict and negligent to not uplift you. And I think it's a clarion call to action, especially for us as men, uh, that we can do more than we have been doing uh, in the midst of all the misogyny and the negativity and even the alpha male of right. what has been going on to berate our women. we got to bless them. we got to lift them up and we got to understand and realize that we're better together. And I think it, we have to look deep within. You know, the other day I was looking for my glasses. They were on my face. I was looking for my phone. It was on my ear. I was looking for my watch. It was on my wrist. I was looking yes. for my keys. They were in my hand. Y'all got to pray for me. Uh, a lot of times we're looking around for what we already have. Uh, we're right. looking for love when it resides within us. We're looking for the gift. When A lot of times we got to realize if you're gifted, you will be afflicted. We're looking for the jewel. When all, A lot of times we just have to sift through the junk and begin to uh, get back into place in relationship with God, to love ourselves, but also to be able to love our brothers and sisters who are created in the image of God as well. Right. And this is our mm -hmm. call in our time to wear your crown. All that you've been through, all the tears that you've cried, all the tests and the trials that you've been through are coming forth as testimonies. You're right. coming forth right. as pure gold. Crown yourself and walk forward in the power of your destiny. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was so powerful. Dr. Connors, thank you so much for your time on today. You are absolutely a gift. You are a gift. And I appreciate all that you have shared with us on today. You guys, today, his book, Queen, volume two drops. And again, we today. want you to go. We want it to be an Amazon bestseller, okay? We absolutely want um, that to happen. And so again, we are absolutely going to have you back. You are officially a tribe member of the Force <laughs> of Friendship. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. This has been so enlightening, so Good powerful. On. And again, I'm so thankful that you could come and hang out with us on International Women's Day. You guys, you have been listening to we got issues with the force of friendship on 9 10 a.m the super station will be here tomorrow same time same place you guys have an amazing evening and to all of our queens out there i want you to take a moment tonight look in the mirror hold your shoulders back and tell yeah. yourself I'm a queen and can't nobody do nothing to knock my crown off. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>